Good Shabbos everyone, and welcome to another video Dvar Torah. This week, rather than speaking about the Parsha, I wanted to share a teaching that reflects my excitement about the peace accords between Israel and the United Arab Emirates. My teacher, Rav Aaron Lichtenstein, did an analysis of a discussion in the Talmud about compromise. According to one rabbi, Rilezer ben Rabbi Yossi Haglili, he says, compromise is a perversion that Really, Yikov Hadina Tahar, the law will pierce the mountain. The moment you compromise, you dilute the law, you pervert it, you alter what it's meant to do. And that people need to stand by their principles. They need to be exacting and particular about the law. But Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha says, no, that's not the case. And he quotes a verse from the prophet Zechariah. What does Zechariah say? Zechariah says, Emet umishpat shalom shaftu b'sha'arechem. Truth, justice, peace, you shall judge in your courts. What does Zechariah mean? Rabbi Yeshua ben Karcha asks, if you have mishpat, you don't have shalom. If you have justice, you don't have peace. If you have peace, you don't have justice. What does he mean? He says, what is the justice that has peace within it? He says, that's compromise. That there's a special magic that happens when two parties decide to put their principles on the side and favor progress, favor cooperation. A conflict can be preserved perfectly by people standing on, on certain principles. You can always find a principle, a hill, a flag to stand by to say, this is my line in the sand, I will not compromise. And especially if you pick a line in the sand that you know the other side cannot handle, you can salt a conflict forever. On the other hand, you can sometimes look and say, you know what? Our cooperation will lead us to a better place. Our cooperation will lead us to better things for people around us. And I think that's exactly what Israel and the United Arab Emirates did. They said, you know what? We need each other. We need each other's peace. We need each other's cooperation. We need each other for security. We need each other for the, to battle the coronavirus. And I'm really echoing things that I've seen from experts from Itamar Rabinovich to Dennis Ross to Thomas Friedman, who all see this as the dawning of a special new era. They see this as a moment as momentous as the peace accords with Egypt, the peace accords with Jordan, that it is going to bring Israel into a new standing with the rest of the Arab world and hopefully usher in a very beautiful new era of peace. Shabbat Shalom.